Hello, differential equations. Welcome back. I got some more things to say about chapter seven. Actually, I'm easing into section seven three in chapter seven, Laplace transforms. So the, <clears throat> there's a lot in chapter seven, section seven three. But this is sort of the beginning. There's this uh, Laplace rule. Uh, it says if you've got the Laplace of e to the a t times any function f of t, then the Laplace is big F of s minus a. So you know, it's clear to everybody that reads it. Now, I, I'll try to help you with that. You know, so the Laplace of f of t is, is big F of s. So what they're saying here is if you've got an e function multiplied by your function, then what you do is you do his Laplace, big F of s, but you replace the s with an s minus a. So sometimes we denote that like this. I, I do his Laplace, which is big F of s, but I replace the s with an s minus a. And then that gives me this. So that, that's what that rule says. So let's, I got a couple examples. I got several examples I'd like to do here. So if I want to apply this rule, uh, what I do is I do his Laplace. Uh, his Laplace, I believe that's a four factorial over s to the fifth. Okay, hold on. But instead of writing s to the fifth, I should write s minus a. I mean, everywhere there's an s, I replace it with s minus a. So I guess it's s minus 3 to the fifth. I do his Laplace, but I replace the s with an s minus 3, an s minus a. Uh, by the way, I do, we do like these cleaned up a little bit. There's not much to do here, but 4 factorial is uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, uh, 24, I guess. <clears throat> Um, let's try this one. So I'm doing his Laplace. I know what that is. It's an S over S squared plus 9. Yep, I've got it. I've got some of these things memorized. Oops. Because it's multiplied by the E function, I should have replaced all those S's with an S minus A. And by the way, in this case, the A is a negative 2, so I replace it with an S plus 2. So there's an S plus 2. And there's an s plus 2 squared. It's the Laplace of the cosine where all the s's are replaced with s plus 2 in this case. Now, the, that, that's the rule, and I'm using the rule here. Now, the truth is, if I look at my, ident uh, my Laplace tables and use my glasses, um, the, you know, they're, they're, this is kind of its own separate rule that gets applied to different things, but each of these is its own rule. This guy is, uh, where is he? Yeah, this guy's number 19 right here. Uh, this one is, uh, this one's here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, t to the n, 17. This is number 17. So, I don't know, they're their own rules but it's sort of a general idea here, general concept. Um, <clears throat> let's try a couple Laplace inverses. So I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to leave that up there. I've got a few things I want to do here. A couple of Laplace inverses. Let's try this one. Laplace inverse of 2s plus 5 over uh, s minus 3 squared. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. Here's another one. Uh, the Laplace inverse of s over s squared plus 4, s over s squared plus 4s plus 10. So, if I was to go try to look these up, uh, they're not really there. Uh, I've got to kind of understand, I've got to try to understand what's going on. Let's see here. Um... Yeah, these are tricky. Um, <clears throat> you know, with this s minus 3 squared in the bottom, that's like a t. I think that's a t. Oh, but, but because it's, it's not an s squared, it's an s minus, then it's an e to the a t. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. But that s, see, I need that s to, if this is a quantity s minus 3, I need that to be an s minus 3. So watch how, you, again, you manipulate these things algebraically quite a bit. So watch how I manipulate this one. I'm changing this to an S minus 3. All right, if I just change that to an S minus 3 and multiply it by this 2, then I think I've just multiplied, I've, I've 
I, I, now I have that, distribute that to, and I have a negative six. So I've just subtracted a six, basically. I've subtracted a six by, by replacing this. Okay, if I've subtracted a six, I better counter that by adding a six. So I've just turned this into this, s minus 3 plus 11. Now, and by the way, and I separate the, de the numerator over two separate, over the same denominator twice. So this is the common denominator. So I separated my new numerator over this. I mean, uh, if you distributed this back, you'd be, and added, the num added these together, you'd be back to 2s plus 5 like I was. So I did that correctly. I, <laughs> and now this can cancel with one of these, actually. So this turns into this, a 2 over s minus 3. Now I'm trying to do the Laplace inverse. Uh, oh, that's just an e function. That's e to the 3t with a 2 in front of it. It's really not that rule. That's just an e function. That's just, that's, you can look him up easy. Uh, but this is, this is a s, like an s squared which is like a T, uh, but, with a, but, but because the S has been replaced by an S minus 3, it's an E to the 3T times a T. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. If that's a T, uh, then I think it needs a 1 in the numerator. Yeah, it needs a 1 in the numerator, so the 11 comes out, so there's an 11 out in front of that. Yeah, that was kind of fun. That was good work. These are tricky. Here's another one. Uh, sometimes that denominator will factor into two linear factors. And if it does, you can look it up. That's 28, 29, 30, that's something like that. Uh, anyway, that doesn't factor. That doesn't factor. So, huh. So I think I should complete the square. So I'm going to go over here to my scrap paper. What I like to do is s squared plus 4s. I need to add the appropriate number to make it a perfect square and add the, and complete the square. I think I want to add a 4. Well, then I got this 10 shoved off to the side. If I add a 4, I better compensate by subtracting a 4. So now I have s plus 2 squared plus 6. You know, another way to accomplish that would have been to take this 10, put a 4 over here and a 6 out here. Uh, put the, grouping the 4 with this, you have a completed square, and the 6 is extra. But anyway, you can get there a couple different ways. So you've transformed this problem now into this problem. Uh, and S over S plus 2 squared plus 6. All right, that kind of a denominator, that looks like a cosine or a sine. I think I've got these things memorized kind of well. Um, oh, but damn it, if that's an S plus 2, then that needs to be an S plus 2. Well, then I can make that happen. I can make that, I can add a 2. I can make that an S plus 2 as long as I go over here and subtract a 2. And I'm going to subtract a 2, and I'm going to put it over its own denominator because now these are two separate Laplace inverses. These are two separate Laplace inverses. So I take that S, I add it to and subtract it to. See, now that's a cosine. That is a cosine square root of 6t. Oh, but with the S, if it was just S's, with the S plus 2 in there, that means it's multiplied by e to the negative 2t. Wow, it's good stuff. That is a sine. Sine has a k on top. That's k squared, so that's the sine of uh, square root of 6t. Oh, by the way, because it's an s plus 2, that's got that e to the negative 2t on it. And what do I need in front? I need a, uh, sorry, I left myself no room here. <clears throat> that is a sine square root of 6t with an e to the negative 2t in front of it. And I need a square root of 6 on top. So how do I pull the 2 out front, put a square root of 6 on top, as long as I divide by a square root of 6 here? Dude, we got it. It's kind of tricky stuff. You should do some homework. Uh, this is in 7-3. <clears throat> um, all right, I want to do one more problem here. I want to do, I want to solve another DE for fun. So I'm going to get rid of all this. I think I'm going to get rid of all this and try to solve a DE. Uh, 
I've only done, I guess I've only done one where I solve a differential equation for you, with you. I think I'll do one that might involve this action here that we've been working on. <clears throat> and it is this, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 4y equals t cubed e to the 2t. I'm not sure where I got this. This might be in the book someplace. A couple, this is a differential equation with a couple of initial conditions. y of 0 equals 0 and y prime of 0 equals 0. Oh, that might be nice. That might be nice. Both those initial conditions are 0. Okay, maybe you remember how to do this. Here we go. We, take the, we walk into the differential equation and we take the Laplace of everybody. I don't really, I'm going to try to save myself a little writing, so I'm just saying, hey, I'm taking the Laplace. So when you take the Laplace of a y double prime, the rule is s squared, I got this one memorized, you can look it up, s squared big Y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. When I do the <coughs> Laplace of this negative 4 y prime, I get negative 4, and then it's times uh, s big Y of s. That's how you do a y prime, minus y of 0. These initial conditions jump on here. When I do the Laplace of a 4y, that's just a 4 big y of s. When I do the Laplace of the other side, that's, uh, that is this rule here. Or I could look him up. He's number 17, I think I said a few minutes ago. What he is, is he's, is, he's the Laplace of t cubed with an s minus 2 replacing all the s's with an s minus 2 replacing, let's see, what is the Laplace of t cubed? 3 factorial, 6, 3 factorial or 6 over s to the 4th, oh, I'm sorry, s minus 2 to the 4th. All right, that's how you do it. You take the Laplace of everybody. All right, this is fun. These initial conditions are 0. That's a 0. That's a 0. That's a 0. What's left is this thing times big Y of S, this thing times big Y of S, this. And so what you do is you factor out the big Y of S, and it leaves you with S squared minus 4S. All these other guys are 0. Uh, and uh, plus 4 equals this. You divide by this now, and the key is on this problem is you recognize what this is. This is S minus 2 squared. So when you divide by it, you get big Y of S is <clears throat> 6 over S minus 2 to the 6th. And I'm going to jump all the way to the top of the board, if you don't mind. Here, I'm going to erase my rule here. Maybe you remember the next step. <clears throat> you get big Y of S all by itself. Then you Laplace inverse both sides. And when you Laplace inverse the big Y of S, you get little y of t, which is the solution to the differential equation we're looking for. But all I got to do now is Laplace inverse this. And so we practiced a little bit of that today. Uh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So that's a t to the fifth. That's with that s to the sixth down there. That's a t to the fifth. But I think it's multiplied by e to the 2t. That's that rule we were doing. It's a t to the fifth. And then if it's a t to the fifth, it needs a, a 5 factorial in the numerator. Well, I'll pull the 6 out. I'll put, the, I'll put a 5 factorial in the numerator. A 5 factorial is 120. So I'm putting 120 in the numerator, which means I have to come out front and divide by 120. There's your answer. Let me just clean that up. That's 1 20th. Is that what? Yeah. 1 20th, uh, t to the fifth, e to the 2t. That's the answer to the differential equation. We did it using Laplace transforms. All right, there's a lot more exciting stuff coming in 7.3. Thanks for working and, and thinking with me here. Do some homework.